What's going on everyone? So in this video, we're continuing our HTB Academy module intro to network traffic analysis. And we're gonna do the second set of questions uh, capturing with TCP dump uh, fundamentals labs. So this is in continuation of our TCP dump section here. Um, so two things to note here. Uh, one, uh, you can complete all the questions um, without um, having to spin up a VM or anything. And that's what we're gonna do here. Uh, two, um, the instructions do say um, that if you want a more detailed walkthrough, um, you can go through these tasks and you can implement them um, on your own machine using TCP dump. Um, so we're just gonna go through the questions here and we're gonna answer them um, using uh, the cheat sheet, the documentation that's already provided. Um, so let's jump right in. So the first question, uh, what TCP dump switch will allow us to pipe the contents of a PCAP file out to another function such as grep. So let's go to the cheat sheet here. And you're gonna see here, we see grep. And it also says we can then utilize pipe to send that output to other tools such as grep to look for strings or specific patterns. Okay, so the answer is dash L. It's not this whole thing. Um, and the reason it's dash L is because this refers to um, dash R refers to read, dash W refers to write, and there's the, um, the file name that they're referencing for those switches. And then you have dash L. And then after dash L, you have this portion, which includes grep. Um, so the specific switch they're looking for is dash L, and that's gonna be the answer there. Uh, true or false, the filter port looks at source and destination traffic. So let's go to the cheat sheets under switch filter. So the filter port. So if we look specifically for port, it says port is bidirectional. It will show any traffic with the specified port as the source or destination. So that's gonna be true because when you do filter port, um, so if you did, for example, um, filter on port 443, well, it's gonna show you source IP address and destination IP address with um, 443 in it. So it's still gonna show you the source IP and the destination IP um, with the port that you have filtered. Um, so the answer is gonna be true. Third question, uh, if we wish to filter out ICMP traffic from our capture, what filter could we use? Uh, word only, not symbol, please. So the answer is not ICMP and in the cheat sheet here, um, if you go all the way down to not, it says not is a modifier saying anything but X. For example, not UDP. So it's literally just two words. So it's not, and then we're filtering out ICMP. So the answer is not ICMP. And then it says what command will show you where if TCP dump is installed. Um, and if you remember from the previous, um, the previous uh, section, um, it also had which TCP dump, which um, uh, which shows you if it's installed. Um, in the documentation on this page, um, you can see tasks here and you can actually click show answer and it says which TCP dump. So that's actually pretty easy. Um, and it says validate TCP dump is installed. So there you go. And you can also get it in the cheat sheet. It's actually all the way down, if I can find it. Uh, for here and you can use it for any application not only TCP dump but for in our case we're trying to find out if TCP dump is installed so it'll be which uh, TCP dump um, utilizes which to determine if application is installed on the host so there you go all right so the next question uh, how do you start a capture with TCP dump to capture on Ethernet zero or eth zero all right so now it's looking uh, for a specific interface and that interface name is eth0 so let's go ahead and look at the cheat sheet all right so pretty much the top um, portion of the cheat sheet you're going to have this description for this command so tcp dump dash i so it says executes tcp dump and utilizes the interface specified to capture on so it says tcp dump dash i and then the name of the interface and that's what we have here, TCP dump dash I, and it tells us the interface name is eth0. So there's the answer there. 
And the rest of these questions we actually answered in the previous section. So if you watched my uh, previous video uh, to this one, um, these answers are provided, but we'll go through them. Um, so it says, what switch will provide more verbosity or verbosity in your output? So that's dash V. Um, didn't mean to click the hint there. I meant to click the cheat sheet up here. So if you look over here, uh, verbosity, verbosity, do, 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 do. Uh, where is it? I know it's here. Um, oh, there we go. So increase the verbosity of output shown and saved. So dash V is the answer. And then what switch will write your capture output to a PCAP file? So let's go to the cheat sheet there. And if you scroll a little bit to the middle, at least I thought it was the middle. Oh, there we go. So right into a file is W. And the answer is uh, dash W. They don't give us a specific file name, so it's just dash W. And then it says what switch will read a capture from a PCAP file. So that's dash R. And it's going to be right where the read, or right where the write was. So here's R for read from a file. So the answer is dash R. Uh, again, it's not specifying a specific file name, so it's just dash R. And then the last one, what switch will show the contents of a capture in hex and ASCII 2? So that's capital X, and you'll find that up here. It says show contents of packets in hex and ASCII 2. So that is dash capital X. And there you go, guys. So um, not too bad, um, this section. Um, so if you guys found this video helpful and useful, um, please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment below. And uh, we'll talk to you guys later.